Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Gigi, if you're new. If you're confused by my name on YouTube, it's not actually spelled like that. I just spell it that way so I don't get swamped by all the other GGs uh, on YouTube. And I thought it was fun because you know the song like G by Girls Generation? I love that song. I'm always playing that song. That's like my title song just because it has my name in it. And so I, that's why I named my channel, if you're ever curious. So for today's makeup look, I actually wanted to share some new things that I bought. I bought this Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop and it's actually my favorite color, which is like a seafoam green. I'll swatch it. It's called um, Shore Thing. It looks like this. I've already been playing with it, but if you look at the color, it's so beautiful. Like this is my favorite color. I mean, I'm also wearing like my favorite sweater, which happens to be, you know, like pretty similar, like seafoam green. But yeah, when I swatched this in the store, I was like, oh my God, I have to get this. Um, I got it at Ulta and I've been wanting to make a look with this for the longest time because it's just such a pretty color. Okay, so I've already prepped my skin and I put on some sunscreen. Um, all I need to do now is just put on some primer and for that I'm going to be using the Lancome La Base Pro. I like to take like a pump. I like to take just a little bit extra, take a little bit extra of the primer and kind of just press it into the places where my pores are a little bit bigger. So that's like my nose and also like the butterfly zone here. So today I just want to try out some new makeup that I bought. I'm really excited because I finally got some new brow products and uh, I know the old brow pomade that I've been using is just so old and so crusty. So I'm really excited to try these out. Um, I got a brow tint pen by NYX and also I got a brow pencil by NYX and these are both in the color Ash Brown. I mean, I see everyone on YouTube use these so I'm really excited to try it out and I feel like I could be more precise with this. The tip for this is so fine. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first, like always. I'm gonna try this out and see how I like it. So for the foundation, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted Moisturizer. And you guys can tell how much I've been using this and loving it because this part has already come off. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it hasn't really completely covered up my rosacea. I still see quite a bit of redness peeking through, so I'm going to go in with another layer on top of it. So this is what it looks like when I finish um, doing my full foundation. I still need to cover some blemishes here, like I now have one here. And um, overall, the finish of this is very dewy. So to cover up the blemishes that are still peeking through, I'm gonna take some more of this foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna take like around this much and just kind of do like the concealer method where you just cover like the, in a thick layer and then blend it out later. And for the blush, I'm gonna be taking this cheek slime in the color Cuffed. Setting powder for the under eyes. And a finishing powder for the T-zone. Something that I've been doing a lot recently is instead of using like a setting mist, um, I like to use a face mist with SPF and I feel like this kind of just rehydrates the face, also giving you sun protection. And yeah, I've really been liking the Sun Bum one. Um, it's an SPF of 45, so I don't go anything lower than 30 for a face mist. And I know it doesn't give enough protection, you know, for reapplication, but just like for the in-betweens before you have to reapply, or if it's like extra hot and you just want some extra protection, you know, um, I like going in with this. It's time to move on to the eyes and I'm gonna be doing another gray look. I know I did a gray look in my past video, like the last one, but I wanna do a gray another one. And I'm gonna be using this as an inner corner highlight. That's like my plan. Got a plan, John. 
You always got a plan, Dutch. So the first color I'm going to use is slated. It's this color right here. I'm going to take this into my transition area. I'm going to take that same color and bring it to the outer edge of my lower lash line. Kind of just feathered inwards. I'm making sure not to connect the top and the lower lash line. And so now I'm going to take the Super Shock Shadow in my favorite color and I'm going to use that as an inner corner highlight. And I'm going to use my pinky to build up the color. Oh my god, that's gorgeous! Okay, so because I want to and it's like my signature thing, I'm going to bring some glitter to the under eye. Okay, so I'm going to take two shimmer shades. I'm going to take this color here by Nabla, the side-by-side -side palette. This is Body and Soul. It's a really pretty like pinky shimmer. And I'm also going to take Revlon Diamond Dust and this is going to add like some extra bling. So I'm gonna add these two together. So right now I'm taking the Nabla palette, body and soul. I'm just gonna add some warmth to the whole look. And now I'm gonna take a really thin brush and dip into the diamond dust. And I'm gonna put this just in the center. So now I'm just going to go in with some black eyeliner and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished my liner and I put on some mascara. I'm going to move on to contouring. And yeah, this look is asking for some contouring. And I'm just going to do a very soft contour today. Hit them cheekbones. I like to hit my temple right here. And then, of course, we can't forget the forehead. Hit the jawline. Even though I did it softly, I'm going to blend it out. Because you don't want anyone to kind of clock you. You want this to be almost like no one can even tell that you're wearing contour. It's like, mm, does she have those cheekbones naturally or is it contour? They'll never know. Oh my god, my hair is getting everywhere. I'm gonna dip into the lighter shade because I also like to hit this part right here. I'm gonna make the contour here a little bit softer. I wanna kind of point out my chin. Without touching this part, I'm just, oh, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm also going to try to contour my nose. And I already... Okay, I kind of messed it up, so I'm just going to take 
a bigger brush and just blend it all out. It's gonna look a little muddy, but that's okay. The trick to kind of fixing a nose contour, if you kind of just mess it up and it now looks muddy, is to take a really light powder. I'm taking one much lighter than my skin tone. Take a very thin brush or the smallest part of your beauty blender and then just kind of line your nose. So we're gonna focus on highlighting now instead of contouring. And then I'm gonna press in the powder with my beauty blender. And now to make the nose contour pop even more, I'm gonna take some highlighter and place it where you kind of highlighted. Now I'm just gonna highlight the rest of my face. Okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna take a lip liner that's closest to my lip shade. Oh my god, my lips are crusted. So I think I'm gonna take a pretty pale pink color. This is um, NYX Powder Puff Lippy and Best Buds. I'm gonna use this as a first coat. And then I'm gonna take a brown color and this is um, the NYX Suede lipstick. Uh, I don't know, this one, the one with the heart. And this is in the shade Downtown Beauty. And this is a little bit darker than my lip shade, so I'm gonna be using a lip brush to kind of mix it in with this color. I'm gonna start from the inside and then work my way out. And this is the color that I created by mixing the two. I think it suits this look. So yeah, this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys like it. Here, I'll do a close-up so you guys can see um, what the makeup looks like. Like, close-up. It looks really natural like the skin, huh? It looks really nice. Um, yeah, so this is the final look, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.